Hey, welcome back to my channel. We have a really fun tutorial today. This is a DIY Christmas stocking, and this is the stocking that I show you how to make in the tutorial. You've got your outside focus fabric, your cuff, cute loop, and a liner inside. This is a really fun DIY Christmas gift. You can use it as a little Christmas bag for a present if you have something small enough. So if you want to see how to create your own DIY Christmas stocking, just keep watching. I have laid my fabric down, folded in half, my liner fabric, and my focus fabric. I have the inside piece that you want to use facing in, the wrong sides out. So I've got doubled up, insides, the right side in, doubled up, right side in. You're going to lay your stocking down, pin it, and cut around it, leaving um, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of space. Now the length around your stocking is going to be dependent on the size of your stocking. So you want to hold your fabric up to your stocking, go around the length of your stocking, and leave a little extra the length around, I'm going to go ahead and cut my 10 inches. Now, you can test it by folding it around your stocking. So you're going to go ahead and sew around the length of your stocking leaving your top open. Once you're done sewing that, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to make some tiny cuts around the heel and the toe of your stocking, right in between the stitching and the edge. Now you don't want to cut past that stitching because if you cut past the stitching, you'll have a hole. So you're just gonna wanna make a couple of little slits. When you turn the stocking inside out, it's gonna allow you to have more of a crisp line and it won't bunch up in those areas. Next, we're gonna sew our liner piece, but first we're gonna leave a hole. Grab your pins, and on the edge of your liner, I leave a gap about the size of my hand so that when everything is sewn, we can pull through and pull it right side out. So, I put some pins here to remind me not to sew this piece since we need a hole here. So with your pins in place, go ahead and sew around the length of your liner stocking, leaving this part unsewn. First pin, pick up your needle, skip over to the second pin, place it back down, and continue sewing. Now we're going to sew our cuff piece. So you're going to want to fold it right sides together around the length of your stocking. So this will be 
the piece that goes around your cuff and then it will be folded in half. Sew this right side together, again folded lengthwise, just like it would sit on your stocking. And go as close to the edge as possible. Once you've sewn that together, go ahead and flip it right side out so you have a nice seam that you just sewed. And last, we're going to sew our loop piece. So you're just going to fold it in on itself, right sides together, so you have about an 8 inch strip, about an inch wide. You're going to sew going to sew across the top and down the open side and leave the bottom open. We're going to flip this right side out. I have flipped my loop inside out and it did not record uh, for some reason. So when it was inside out, I opened it up, created a little hole with my fingers, and I stuck my scissors in that hole. I then fed it on top of my scissors, used my scissors to poke out the corners, and then pulled this through. Now we're going to assemble our stocking. You've got your front piece or your focus fabric still inside out. We're going to go ahead and open that up and turn it right side in. So just, okay, we've got our focus fabric, our front piece right side in. We've got our cuff right side out as well. You're gonna find the seam that you sewed and you're gonna find the seam on the back heel. And you're going to put this over your stock, lining up the seam. Okay, I now have this cuff over my stocking and I have the back seam lined up with the seam of the cuff. You're going to grab your loop, fold it in half and take the open two ends. You're going to line that up against your back seam, the seam of your cuff, and then your loop open edges up and you're going to pin that. Okay, so I've pinned the back heel and I have a very slippy velvety fabric for my cuff piece so I've gone ahead and pinned it four total times around my stocking. Now we're going to take our liner still inside out and we're going to fit that over the entire stocking that we just pinned lining up that back seam. Okay so I've lined everything up taken my pins out and repinned the liner. So we liner, loop, cuff, stocking. We're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all of that together all the way around leaving your hole open. I start just before the loop so that this four layer piece here I can sew over back and forth a couple of times to really reinforce that. Like mine, you can take this piece out and it allows you to sew circles a little easier. If you don't have this ability, you're gonna have to set your fabric down on your foot and just slowly sew around the inside. But since I have the circle set up, I'm able to sew around the outside. to start to assemble our stocking. Pull the liner and your front top piece out and find that hole that we left open in the liner. Stick your hand in through your cuff all the way to the toe of the stocking and pull it up through that hole. You're going to feed everything through that hole including pushing the liner in on itself. 
and you're going to take this opportunity to push out all the pieces of your liner, running your hands along that seam. And we're simply going to sew that hole up. Now, because this is the inside of the liner, it doesn't have to be perfect and beautiful. I just kind of cinch that fabric together, hold it, and run over to sew it. Now that we have sewed together that open piece in the liner, we are going to open up the top of our stocking and push the liner inside where it belongs to make the liner. And then you're just going to push together the liner and the stocking and feed it through until it looks nice. Once you have the liner and the stocking inside the way you like it, pull your cuff all the way up, fold it down halfway, about like that, and then fold it over again. Now you've got your loop, your cuff, your stocking, and your liner. Easy enough, right? So that was it, quick and simple. I'm gonna show you a few um, tips on how to get your Christmas fabric nice and cheap. So this is the stocking we did in the tutorial today. Here's some others that I've done. This was on my last more lengthy tutorial where beautiful green liner inside. This one out of a dish towel I found for a buck a fleece blanket I got for $2.50 and this blanket was enough to do many, many projects and a fabric remnant that I got for under a buck, a spool of ribbon that has owls on it to match that was less than 50 cents, customized for my husband last year, it's a cowboy stocking because of course, Texas, he's a Cowboys fan. So my tip for you is to go into the fabric remnant section. Um, they'll have it wrapped up and they'll have it at a discount. If you go into Walmart, you'll just find the same thing. It will be wrapped up in a small section like this and you'll get the remnant at a discount. I made, I made this stocking out of two fat quarters and a bunch of remnants for my inside. I got it for less than $5. I made this stocking, the fabric I got 40% off at Joann Fabric, so it was about less than $3 and I have enough for two stockings. This piece was the in the remnant section I got for about a buck fifty, and the same thing for the red liner. I think I got it for about three dollars, but I got a huge amount. Um, so you can make stockings for well under five dollars a piece if you search the remnant bin. If you find things that are on sale, out of anything, just shop fabrics that you find on the cheap and you don't have to go to the fabric section. Look at um, pillowcases, look at curtains, look at kitchen um, tablecloths that go on sale after the holidays. Anything that's made out of fabric you can use to make these. You can definitely make them on the cheap. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and enjoyed these custom DIY Christmas stockings. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, um, subscribe, and you can become part of the fam and catch my videos coming up. I have some really fun DIY Christmas gifts that I'm going to do coming up here soon, so make sure you click the notification bell so you are notified when that one uploads. Thank you so much for watching and for being here, and I will see you soon.